You know, it wasn't to be a winner, but a real high quality game of football and, and a very well deserved point at the very least. I think it was really competitive. It was played at a real intense tempo. Um, yeah, the atmosphere was superb. Love seeing you and ball this fall. Um, the atmosphere we created was incredible. Uh, proper game of football. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it was intense, it was quick. But I just felt like at times we didn't show the composure needed and look that's understandable given the, the magnitude of the game and the occasion and, and what it means for both teams and when we did do that and link passes we looked we looked a real threat but these games there's only moments I spoke about moments in the week um, I think we had the better moments and I think we had a real big chance with Dion um, just after half time that probably should go in um, and you have to win those moments to win these games but the pleasing thing for me is if you, if you can't win you don't lose um, and we we look real solid back there It felt like a lot at stake it felt like a big game from start to finish didn't it? Yeah. I think the crowd bought into that they haven't gone home seen a win about it they've gone home disappointed Well I hope not because it was a full throttle full mm. blooded game um, but Paul's teams draw you into you know that intense energetic physical battle um, they press man for man they really come after you and you have to be calm and detailed with the play if you want to play through them and at times we did that, at times we didn't. And we're working and evolving as a team all the time. We've got some young players out there, but that's their first real big occasion. You know, James, Connor Bradley, Aaron Morley, those types of players are young lads and they're still learning the trade. Um, but I thought we, we applied ourselves really well. Um, proper, old-fashioned, top-of-the-league game. Um, so unfortunately, didn't quite get on the right side of it. Best spell after half-time, probably best spell again when you played some really good football and asked them some serious questions. And you say the one big chance in that spell, and it might have yeah, we had that one, one big chance, and, and you know we we're hopeful that they go in. And these, as I said, these big games, there's, there's limited chances, and when you get them, you need to take them. But we'll back day on again, and, and we'll go again for Lincoln in two days' time. And catch a right at the death, almost oh, perfect. It finish. was a brilliant effort, great yes. technique, uh, just a yard either side. It's probably a goal, and it's it's kind of our way. We always create that one more big chance towards the end of the game and I felt it coming but um, yeah as I said good technique mm. just a shame it wasn't a yard either side and again with that defence that hasn't played together an awful lot thanks consecutive clean sheet and did very well again today. I thought the defence were excellent I thought mm. they ask you a lot of questions they're fast in transition I thought their moments were really from our poor play when we we lost the we lost our calmness and composure, um, opened the game up in transition. I thought they attacked with speed, but the way we dealt with that was, was excellent. So 1v1 defending, superb. George Johnson, Owen Tall, Williamson. Full credit to them boys because they haven't played together an awful lot, but it's a good performance. Yeah, unless you've another point on the board and you go to Lincoln on Friday night and get yeah, on it. As I said, if you can't win these big games, and you certainly can't lose them because there's a, almost a six point swing if you do. Um, thankfully, we didn't. Um, as I said, I thought we edged it, uh, but now it's about regrouping and getting ready for, for Lincoln.